Hello, I'm Dave Clavassier. Right now on your 13 Action News Update, this man, 46-year-old Carlos Nava, is in custody after Metro Police say he sexually assaulted and robbed a woman near Trop and Decatur on July 10th. He was arrested today near the alleged incident and Neva now faces multiple charges, including sexual assault with a deadly weapon and robbery. Detectives say there may be additional victims. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers 702-385-5555. Well, cracking down on speeding in North Las Vegas, police posting these pictures of a driver who was arrested for reckless driving. Officers say the driver was going 106 miles an hour in a 35 mile zone, and that's moments after being cited for reckless driving, doing 73 miles an hour in a 35 zone. Christmas in July, if you're looking to beat the heat this week and maybe get into the Christmas spirit, LV Craft Shows is hosting a Christmas in July event at the retreat on Charleston Peak Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The free event will feature about 70 vendors, booths inside and outside the hotel. There will be ornaments, paintings, mugs, even Santa will be there for the kids. And that'll be the place to be with the heat that we expect here in the valley. But keep in mind, even the mountains under a heat advisory through Friday night. In the valley on Friday, forecast high of 112, just two degrees shy of the standing daily high temperature record. And if we hit that, we'll tie for hottest day so far this year. It is going to be brutal as that excessive heat warning holds. It expires at 8 p.m. Friday evening, so all day long it is going to be intense out there. Make sure to take care of yourself, stay hydrated, and limit time outside if you can. This weekend, things start to shift as monsoon moisture returns. You'll notice an uptick in humidity as temperatures start to back off a little bit. By the beginning of next week, we're about five degrees below normal with storm chances. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.